big, they're bad, they're spooky. No matter how long you've been gaming, you probably have one. Yes, the backlog. I'm talking about this kind of thick boy. I'm talking about this chunk. Yeah, this wolf frog chubba. Backlogs come in all shapes and genres. Some seem impossible to master. Some will take a concerted effort over the course of a few months. Some have responsible owners and can be dealt with quickly. Some people try to help you conquer these fiends. Others are enablers. This video series on backlogs will help us to both identify and conquer our enemy. Because in order to conquer your enemy, you need to know your enemy. You need to find your enemy's weaknesses. Today, we take a stand against our foes. Today, we mark a line in the sand and say, you shall not pass! Today, we choose to, oh, actually, that's really good. Stop it, stand and fight and say no to more and yes to what we already have. So what is a backlog? I'm talking video games on PC, Switch, uh, a Vita, a X Xbox, anything that you own that you have either not played, not beaten, not opened, played briefly, never came back to, forgot about, left in your humble bundle library, received through games with gold or PS Plus free games. These are all backlog games. Let me make this clear with an example. Hi, my name is Krimbo. I've been a backlog collector since 2013. Uh, these are my backlog games. Yeah, it's bad. I know it's bad. That's why I'm showing it to you. The first step is admitting you have a problem. And the second step is, well, how do we deal with the problem? Drag it into the light and beat the frick out of it with some friends. If your friends are bad influences on you, well, you can go it alone, but it's gonna be much more difficult. So, let's get specific. I'm currently aware of two methods for conquering the backlog with your friends. One is through a backlog draft, and two is through something called backlog golf. I'm making separate videos on these methods, but essentially they boil down to gamifying your backlog. In other words, take your backlog, take some rules, smack them together, and now your backlog is a game for you to beat. So the two methods, briefly. A backlog draft is basically you picking 10 to 15 games from your backlog, then having all of your friends vote on three to five games, and when voting is finished, everyone has X months to finish those games. It solves problems for you, like not knowing what games to play, but it also takes away some of your autonomy. Backlog golf is a bit more involved. It's got quite a few rules, so it can chug along fairly, but it's golf, more or less, so points are bad, you don't want them, and essentially you're going to lose points as you beat games in your backlog and you gain points as you buy or acquire new games. Ultimately, these are both best played with friends who hold each other accountable, and Backlog Golf especially gives you lots of choices, but it's punishing for people who buy games frequently. So these Backlog games work well with friends, but what if you're solo in this journey? Well, you're in luck. Check out the Discord link in the description if you want to start or join us on our Discord. <laughs> We'd love to get a good old backlog game together. Seriously, it would be it'd be fun to get one of these going. Um, but if you're still wanting to go solo, don't worry. I found a few ways to help manage, document, and take down your backlog. Some include using this amazing website called howlongtobeat.com. Some include putting together an exhaustive Google Sheets to keep track of all your games. And also, Steam has categories you can use to track your stuff too. There's a myriad of ways that I've tested tested and tried in the past and I'd like to show them all to you. There are so many ways to track and beat your backlog and beating my backlog has been a big passion of mine. It's partly why I'm creating this series of videos to help you deal with yours. Some people like watching AFI's top 100 movies. Some people like gardening. Some people want to be a great carpenter. I also enjoy some of those things, but one extremely valuable lesson I've learned as I've tried out different hobbies, especially when it comes to backlogs. Never half-ass two things. Whole ass one thing. And as I've spent more time thinking about my backlog and my gaming habits, this is the point that I've come to. If we love gaming so much, why don't we learn to responsibly take care of all the physical and digital crap we already own instead of pining for more new stuff? It's a question I've been thinking about a lot for the last few years. Now, it's not a bad thing to enjoy the new stuff that comes out from the biggest dev teams every year. I do that with certain franchises like Doom and anything from From Software. And it's not inherently a bad thing to snag Humble Monthly every month, because that's like 10 new games you, and you're spending like maybe a buck a game for. That's a ton of value for such little cash. But ultimately, aren't we just adding to an already huge pile? I recognize not everyone has the size of a backlog that I have, but is more always better? If the value is there, is it always worth taking? So my question from earlier brings itself back. If we love gaming, how can we learn to responsibly enjoy the crap we already have? And I found the answer. 
by enjoying it. And I've begun to learn to enjoy it. Because of Backlog Golf, for example, I discovered Islanders. This is an amazing, beautiful city builder with simple board game-like rules and easy to learn gameplay. The Norwood Suite, a trippy, creepy romp with a musical background and a maze of a hotel full of lore and mystery. Subnautica, literally the most amazing open world exploration survival crafting game I've ever played. It has forever shaped my view of video games. Call of Juarez, Gunslinger, a Western told by an unreliable narrator. It has honestly some of the most exciting and rewarding arcade style gunplay I've experienced in a game before. Judge, a game where you, well, actually it turns out this game kind of sucks, but I played it a lot because I was really bored. So yeah, some of these games are old as dirt, some are simple, some are weird, but they all hold up and they harbor lots of enjoyment. The myth that modern games are better or much more enjoyable than older games is bunk. It's garbage. I hope you get my point. There are games in my backlog that have reshaped how I view not just video games, but entertainment as a whole. They aren't just time wasters or something to get my mind off of how much the world sucks. They're full of beautiful stories, mind-meltingly addicting gameplay. There's so much to see. And if you ignore your backlog or you only buy the newest releases, to be honest, you're missing out. So maybe I've convinced you to love your backlog, and maybe I've convinced you to take some time to categorize it and start beating it. What are your next steps? What's the call to action? Well, first play through your backlog. It's, it's really that simple. Golf and drafting, they're helpful, but end of the day, play through your backlog. Second, and I'm really dedicated to this, but I'm gonna explain what the backlog draft is and how it works and backlog golf as well. And I also wanna do some videos on common mishaps as you fight your backlog. I feel like I've learned a lot as I've tried to work through mine. Subscribe to my channel as I produce these videos to guide us as we go. Third, if you have local buddies or online friends that aren't working through a backlog like you are, or if you just want to meet new people to start a draft with or whatever, uh, join our Discord channel. That link is in the description as well. I want to provide resources to help people do this. And finally, if this video was helpful for you or got you excited about your backlog, leave a comment below on how big your backlog is and what game you've always been most interested in playing. Let's conquer our backlogs together. Click subscribe and the notifications bell if you want to be up to date as we work through these great games. Thanks for watching.